Robert Jam Jones is like the coolest name ever. I can't think of a name better than that one, at least right now. I'm very, very impressed. And yet again, like we've talked about this before on my channel, who names the cars? It's probably Pixar because it's after their employees. I don't really know who this guy is named after. I'm sure there's somebody and please let me know in the comments below. But nonetheless, Robert Jam Jones, that's such a cool name. He's jamming. And that's all there is to say. The next two band members that we'll be getting, Pam Wheeldarrow and Rich Hurry. Rich Hurry, like, come on, how do we go from Robert Jam Jones to Rich Hurry? That's such a lame name. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another Disney Docket presentation. Today, of course, we'll be reviewing the first band member, or I guess, yeah, it is the band member of Sweet Tea's band. Robert Jam Jones. He came out of 2021 Singles Case F, which I unboxed recently. And I'll leave that link in the description below along with the card suggestion pop-up in the top right-hand corner if you want to check it out. It's really the best case of the year. So many new cars, so many new variants. Really blessed to have that case. And yeah, this is one of my favorites just because of the fact that I love accessories. So, you know, you have the boom box there, the guitar, kind of like an accessory. And I just love the pitties. Obviously new for 2021. This guy hasn't been too hard to find because of the fact that there are two of him in the case. I found quite a few of him at Walmart and yeah, I think I found some at Target. I found more of them at Walmart though. Of course, he's in Cars 3. They put a weird assortment of cars here on the back. Like these are all from Case A. Smokey, Jackson Storm, Jambalaya Chimichanga, High Rod Junior Moon, and Sheldon Shifter. I don't know. I wish they put stuff from his case on the back. I'll be right back with this guy all opened up. So here is Rob all opened up. He looks great. I love the detail on the boom box. I was not expecting it to look so good. And he himself looks pretty cool as well. A very dark teal slash turquoise color. And there he is in the movie along with the rest of the band members. Rich Hurry, who's a slide guitar guy. Pam Wildaro is on the drum set. And then Sweet Tea, of course, is the vocalist. And we already got her released. And she'll be re-released later this year as well. So if you missed her a couple years ago, we'll be able to get her again. All right, let's start with the boom box. I really like this, actually. And I'm pretty sure Rich Hurry has one as well. So first of all, the corners are like these silver pieces that are raised off of the main kind of square. So, you know, they kind of, I don't want to say sharp, but they definitely protrude off. And I like that. Just kind of makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional instead of just being like a box, you know. Give them a black box. Put some silver on and call it a day. No, this is really nicely detailed. You have even the handle up here. You have all the buttons and the dials. It's kind of like two-sided here. As you can see, there's like a divide down the middle. And of course, the nice texture for where the speaker itself is. That's rubber. No way. That feels like rubber. Well, I guess it's plastic. It just feels like a different plastic than everything else. That's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> it really feels like rubber, though. Like, if you put your... Like the fingerprint of your hand and run across it. it feels rubber but i guess when you like tap it with your fingernail it's plastic but yeah cool stuff I'm surprised they didn't have to put a code on here usually they even have to put the codes on the accessories so that's cool good here's robert can't even see his mouth that's pretty interesting so his eyes look cool he's kind of you know he's into it he's grinding away he's Absolutely jam jones and I love how the forks just kind of articulate around the guitar. It looks really cool. They're all bending around. It's kind of just interesting to see, you know, cars having such dexterity, being able to play it so well. I mean, just look at how it kind of bends around so many different joints. Really cool. The guitar looks nice, although the decal is a little blurry. I'm a little disappointed about that. Still looks pretty cool. It kind of bends upward. I wish it was more straight. They did a pretty good job. Again, you have some little prongs coming off of the end there. 
but everything else is just a decal. It's plastic, but it's not a sticker. Like the decal is not a sticker. It's actually painted on there. He's got these turquoise rims too, turquoise base. Does he have a date stamp? It appears not. So see guys, even if a car doesn't have a date stamp, doesn't mean it's a prototype. Interesting though. Usually they would even try and cram it on the base of a pity. Now this hat up here is plastic. I like how far it extends off. Like it just gives him so shit, much shade. Like look at that, such a long bill. I like it though. A little grainy along the window there, that's okay. Pretty basic pity. Not a whole lot going on with him, but obviously we love the guitar. We love the boom box. And it is now time to compare him to a bunch of other fellow guitarists. I guess this isn't technically a guitar, but this is one of the members of Uncle Topolino's band. If you guys don't know who that is or what it is, it was a two-pack released in 2013. One of the best two-packs ever because you literally got all four of these in a two-pack. And do you think Mattel would do that nowadays? No, they wouldn't. We know that. Why? Because they released Sweet Tea and Guido, just them two, in a two-pack together. Like, what? You could have released literally, like, all the band members and just gotten it over with, aside from maybe, like, one. Like, why don't you just release Sweet Tea, Robert Jam Jones, Rich Hurry, and Pam Wildero, call today, maybe don't include these accessories, and then bam. I don't know. I, I do like the accessories, though. Pam Weirdaro has like three accessories. So I guess we probably wouldn't have gotten those if they put them all into one set. But either way, just kind of shows you what Mattel was capable of in the past. So yeah, this guy's really neat. He's got like a banjo. I think there's a better word for this. I think it starts with a C. Oh, gosh, I wish I could remember. I wish I was smart enough with music and instruments to know what this is called. I think it starts with a C though. So yeah, this is more of like an electric guitar, and then this is something different, although they're obviously under the same breed in terms of instruments. So yeah, I'd have to say Robert Jam Jones is definitely gripping this thing a little bit better. It's kind of interesting to see how they are holding it very differently. Robert Jam Jones has some thick prongs, whereas this guy over here is very, he's got some very frail looking prongs. Even Guido has thicker ones, which technically they're supposed to be the same model. Yeah, Alcohol was hoping you know, his band is underrated. Like people loved it, you know, when it first came out. And and then now it's just like kind of overrated. I mean, underrated. No one really talks about it. It's not super rare, but don't worry guys. I will probably be doing a review on them again soon. And I will be showing them all again when I review Rich Hurry and Pam Wheeldero. So their time is not yet done with. And now we got to bring in two other guitarists, Rocky and Eddie. So these both have electric guitars. And this allows us to take a look at the decals a little bit better. So I have to say, yeah, China did a much better job on the decal of the guitar than Thailand did here. Like it just looks so dark. Like see that white right there? That's like just gray. It's grainy. That's pure white, looks good. You can also see the mater there, it looks so good. Now granted, you see how they just made this one piece and then they kind of put the decals of those prongs. Thailand actually made those, you know, individual pieces. Like they didn't make this all one little stick. You know what I'm saying? Like you could see the difference there. So, you know, I guess there's the pros and cons. These guys are gripping it more like how Robert is instead of the Uncle Topolino band member. Cool stuff. I wonder if cars ever get jealous. Like, they're like, dang, I wish I could play a guitar. But only forklifts. Now, for some reason, over here, Rocky has this, I don't know, he's got like gloves on almost. I don't know what these things are. You can see that Eddie has nothing like that on his forks, but Rocky does. I don't know. But they look cool. He also has a very nice looking guitar. And they made that up there one piece. So, Tylen. Has got you beat there, buddy. Although for the costume, though, I think Robert loses big time because he's just in his basic little turquoise paint job and the other guys are decked out and what do they call them? Like studs and top hats and 
bandanas. Like, look at these guys. These guys are absolutely ready to rock. They're ready to jam. Robert Jam Jones' name might be a little bit more than he can chew. Like, he might have bit off. His parents might have bit off a little bit more than he could chew because he doesn't look like he's jamming as hard as Rocky and Eddie. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for the guitarists. I did want to show, like, a Piston Cup Pity just to give you, like, a size comparison. So he's a little smaller. Doesn't have the little baggage on the back. I don't know what these little boxes are called. I never have known what they are called, so I just call it like baggage. Little Grand Prix Pity. Tried to get ones that colors, that their colors were kind of similar. World Grand Prix Pities don't usually have any baggage. Sweet Tea. I think this band's gonna look really good. They're gonna challenge Uncle Topolino's band in like a little riff, riff off or something like that. Wasn't that the thing from Pitch Perfect or something? I don't know. And here's Guido, last but not least. They look pretty good together, they're chilling. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Love this case, absolutely love case F because it's given me a ton of new cars to review and they're all very unique in their own ways, so. I hope you guys have been enjoying it too. Let me know in the comment section below who's your favorite guitarist out of the four I have shown. We have Robert, the, the band member, and then Rocky and Eddie, of course. Let me know, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye now.